Did you find your dream dress three weeks before your wedding or is your wedding in two years and you're worried that it's too early to buy a dress? Have you changed your mind one month before your wedding? Worry not, Q and I are here to guide you and get you all the timeline details that you need. Welcome to Style to Wed, where we answer all of your wedding dress shopping questions and have fun while doing it. I'm Sydney Sadik, bride-to-be, entertainment and style expert, founder and editor-in-chief of Spotlight Magazine, and author of Aim High. Today, Q Stoddard from Fantasy Bridal in Utah, and I can hardly wait to get started. I just want to share all of your knowledge with every bride to be out there, Q. We are so excited to have you. Hi, my name is Q. I am the senior stylist at Fantasy Bridal in Salt Lake City, Utah. We are in the little suburb of Murray, if any of you guys know that area. I have been there for almost seven years, and I love it. The thing I enjoy the most about being a stylist is helping brides feel beautiful. My whole idea is that I want each bride that comes into the store to leave better than I found them. I want each bride to feel sexy and beautiful and I just love helping them realize that they can be amazing and beautiful. Something no one knows about me is I actually studied fashion design in Italy and in New York. So I've got a background in fashion design. My favorite tip to give brides is, guess what? Shopping is gonna be actually fun and easy. So Q, tell us about optionality when it comes to wedding dress shopping. Well Sydney, there are a ton of options out there. So each bride has a specific timeline, whether that is two years in advance or a week or even a day out. Some situations are crazy, but there are plenty of options for any girl to get her dream dress. As long as they talk to their stylist and ask their stylist plenty of questions, there's plenty of options out there. There's something for everybody, yes. right? It is for so everyone. true. I know that for me, like I liked being able to see all the options and then that also helped me kind of narrow down things that I liked about certain dresses, other things that I did not like. I think as long as you keep an open mind and you plan for more time, it gives you more opportunities to do that, to see all your options. You don't wanna rush that you process of finding your dream dress, you yeah. definitely do not. I love all of this. Tell me, Q, what is the most realistic timeline for brides to expect? With all the craziness in the wedding industry, what a professional recommends is anywhere from eight months to a year is that perfect timeline. That sounds crazy, and when someone told me that for the first time, I'm like, is that real? Is that a joke? Why does it take so much time? Because these are special dresses. It's a couture experience. You are getting something that is fitted to you, that you are going to wear once in a lifetime. It is a huge experience. Now, each designer is a little different, but most designers, like they will special order and start cutting your dress from scratch, which I think is amazing. It is. I'm like, how many times do we get something like made for us? This is much? like the Hollywood treatment. Yes. Everyone at home gets to feel like a Kardashian mm -hmm. at some point in their life, right? Absolutely. And now when they're getting married, I love all of this. Well, Q, I think that you've made a lot of brides feel so comfortable. Thank you for that. And it feels like we sometimes all think this process is a one size fits all, which is just so far from the truth. Let's take a walk on the wild side and get into rush cuts. But first, Q, tell everybody what a rush cut is because I have no idea. A rush cut is kind of a different process. A rush cut for a small fee, you can get a dress in a little bit sooner than what a normal standard dress would come in at. So if you have a little bit of a shorter timeline, I say rush cut's an amazing idea. Sometimes it's more expensive, sometimes it's less expensive. I would just ask her stylist and then she can kind of figure out what the cost is depending on the designer. How often do you find that people actually ask for a rush cut? Usually a lot. I feel like with elopements getting more like standardized, yeah. a lot of girls are like, I wanna do a destination. And with destinations, you have to plan a little bit more. Sometimes they don't have the timelines that you think. Well, I absolutely did not know most of that. That is great. And then my next question that always comes to my mind is like, how do you get these dresses if you're having a destination wedding to the destination after you've had that rush cut? What happens there? So there are plenty of different options that way too. Some people, if it's like US based, will ship their dress to their destination spot. Makes sense. And then steam it, iron it. When you get there, <laughs> a lot of people will travel with it. So there's things like the pilot's cabin, depending on like what airline you go with. 
you can reserve a seat if it's that big. I've seen that so. many times, very recently. I thought that was yeah. a smart idea. And most like places have like, steamers and like a freshen option for your dress when you get there. You make I, it work. Yeah, you make it work. You find a way. Well, rush cuts feel like they are hand in hand with special orders. So how do you define a special order, Q? I like to say a special order is ordering your dress because it's always special. Special order can often come down to like a certain length, changing a size from what you tried on and doing it in a different color as well. So all those are factored into what they call a special order. There is so much customization and personalization that you can do yes. right now when getting your wedding dress. So these are all great tips. Why is it cute that it can take up to around 18 weeks for a special order? Sydney, that's a great question. So for you brides out there, when you go shopping, your stylist is gonna kind of help you find that dress. When you find it, different things get factored into it. So if you need a shorter length, that changes everything. Different colors, different necklines. If you're doing any design changes, that also takes a lot of time because the pattern maker for your dress is actually changing the pattern on the dress which takes a couple of weeks to do because it's a lot of labor intensive work. You don't think of all this when you're actually trying these yes. dresses on, like the amount of people, time that goes into it, right? You just it's, can't even imagine. It's a lot, it's a lot of work. So they've got to have plenty of time to make sure that the dress is perfect for you. A lot of work, but getting to that really perfect final result. This is putting the special you guys into special order. So what does the timeline look like on one of these special orders? So timeline, you go into the store, you find your dream dress, they take all the measurements. If you're good shorties like us. Yes, we are. <laughs> shorties unite. Then they will kind of talk about like your heel length, what you're trying to do there, take some more measurements to kind of gauge if you're like looking for five inches front shorter, three inches front shorter, just kind of depending on that. And then the store will place the order for you. The order will go in to the design house. And then from there, they'll reach out to the manufacturer. And from the manufacturer, they will start making your dress. And it's kind of fun from there. This is quite the process. I actually took my platform heels into my first dress fitting. I was like, this is the time of my life where I need all the height that I can get. So with all of this being said, whether it's a special order or not, how soon is too soon to shop for your wedding dress? So I'm always hesitant about answering that because I feel like it really depends on the bride. If you are the type of girl that is self-conscious and just really anxious about shopping, I would say start now. Your stylists are going to be your best friends. They're there to help you and make you feel beautiful. So don't procrastinate because you're worried about how your shopping is going to go. If there is a certain situation where you were anticipating getting married as fast, still go shopping as soon as you can. It's the best way to do it. Well, I had a childhood friend Q who bought her dress before she met her fiance, which is absolutely hilarious. Which Don't tell right? my boyfriend, but same. Okay, we have someone in the house who did just that. There's something magical when you put on the correct dress. It's different. Hopefully that magic translates to finding your partner. You found the dress before your partner, <laughs> right? <laughs> I love that. All right, so Q, once your special order gets back to the store, what's next? What should people consider? Alterations, that's a key part of the whole wedding dress shopping experience. So alterations is when you try on the dress after it's been ordered, they fit it to you, and I do recommend factoring time for that as well. There are some stores that do faster alterations. Some stores will send you out to a seamstress that might take a little bit longer. She might do shorter, faster, everything. So you just have to keep in mind there are different timelines for alterations as well. So ask your store that you are ask shopping at, store. right? Because it depends yes. on where you're shopping. Absolutely. Good points here. Well, I know that there are all types of brides, so there will be exceptions, but having this general guideline is absolutely valuable. Q, it was really wonderful having you on the show today. You are so informative and fabulous. Ladies, if you are in the Salt Lake City area of Utah or passing through, don't miss an opportunity to visit Q and her team at Fantasy Bridal. What a gem you are. Stay tuned, you guys, for a special styling segment with Madeline Gardner, creative director at Maury Lee Madeline Gardner. See you soon.
All right, if there's one styling tip that I'm super curious about, and I know a lot of you at home might be too, it's all about bustle. So Madeline is here to break down what we need to know about this important part of your wedding dress. Madeline, what are bustles for those of us who don't know? So the bustle is a really important element when doing your alterations. So what happens is the train gets pulled up so that it creates a floor length dress for you so you can enjoy your party and visit with your guests. We know that there are so many different variations of wedding dresses that there must be a couple of different bustle options as well. Tell us about some of them that we're seeing here today. There definitely are. So if we take a classic A-line gown such as this one, normally I would recommend an American or English style bustle where you take the train, and this has a, a typical chapel length train, not as long as a cathedral, yeah. but it gets pinned up to the waistline, and as you can see, Usually it's three pieces across, and you're left with this beautiful floor length look. And you can really dance and enjoy the party. I do recommend putting the bustle up before you visit with your guests after the ceremony. That is my biggest nightmare, is thinking that either one of my guests are going to step on my dress or I'm going to just fall on my face at my wedding. So this is definitely the solution right here. We have another fabulous dress right here. Tell us about what makes this bustle special. Okay, so on a slimmer silhouette such as this in a solid fabric, I recommend a French bustle, okay. which goes up and under where that one went over right. the skirt. This goes under and creates this beautiful silhouette. If you turn a bit to the side, you can see it's almost like a vintage look to it. And I also love taking a bow and then placing it here and you get two looks with your dress. I mean, this is an absolutely stunning dress to begin with, but it also now almost looks like an entirely different, different dress, dress. Exactly. by just making this really minor alteration. Such a stunning look. If you, Madeline, had to leave everyone at home with one tip about bustles, what would it be? I would say really take the advice of your stylist and your alteration specialist because they do this all the time. They know what works best with each silhouette and they're going to make it perfect for you on your day so you could feel free and enjoy the party. This was so informative, Madeline, and I know we have more styling tips for all of you at home, so make sure to stay tuned.